Hello boys and girls, my name is Mike Kelly from realillusionforum.com. We're going to do a couple tutorials today. First one dealing with geoshells. We've talked about these in the past. This is, uh, they're either easy to deal with or they're complicated or they're somewhere in between. <laughs> so this particular geoshell, anytime you see geoshell, what the heck does that mean? What that means is that the developer has used a, a kind of a mesh shell on top of a character and they do that either because they're lazy, <laughs> I don't know, or, or they uh, want to achieve effects that are very difficult to achieve otherwise. Uh, but they, those geo shells will not come over properly in Character Creator. So the only way around them is to get the textures off of those geo shells and add them directly to the mesh of the characters. And this works under some circumstances. It doesn't work under all circumstances, but today we're going to show you one where it does work. And uh, maybe someday later we'll go over one that doesn't work, although I don't really have a workaround for that. So in this particular case, what we want to do is we have the character Eve. We brought her over, and she already has the morphs, so the morphs create this facial uh, look in, in the body for the character. And then in order to get the tattoos, they have something called a tattoo geo shell. So we'll bring that over on top of her. And when you bring that over, this is the shell that contains the textures. You can already see she's got the neck textures and the arm textures and whatever whatever else might be there. I'm not quite sure. I think that's it. Well, the back texture. So you might say, oh, that's great. I could just export this and open it. No. And what will happen in Character Creator is that this shell will come over as another character, but it won't line up with this, and there's no way you can use it. You just can't. So how do we get the geo shell textures, these arms and, and thing tattoos, over onto the character itself? Well, the answer is we need to take the textures themselves from that geo shell and put them on the Eve character. So how do you do that? Well, first of all, with this selected, we're going to go down and find out where those textures are. That's, that's your first uh, assignment. So you go into Surfaces. This is selected. And we're going to just look right, we're just going to do the arms. I'm not going to go through all the rest of it because uh, once you've done one, you can do the rest. But if you go to the arms and go to the base color, you can see that there's where that texture is located. And if you can click on it and go to browse, it'll actually bring up the folder where those textures are located. So then you can you can see what you're doing. So there's there's those textures that are in there and, and there's the arms textures. And you can see that, that the arm textures are there, but there's also an arm mask that creates that effect. So this arm is a regular arm, but then the arm mask creates that tattoo effect. So what we really need to do is get that arm mask to mask the same thing in the regular character, okay? So now we know where the textures are, we know uh, what we're doing, so you're gonna copy down that folder so you know yourself. So we can get rid of this geo shell because again, we can't export that geo shell, it won't do us any good. So now we go to Eve herself, the actual Eve character, and again, we're going down to arms because that's what we wanna do. We wanna actually create this arm and drop in this arm texture uh, with those tattoos on it. So how do we do that? Well, I'm gonna show you how to do it in Photoshop. I uh, that's my editor. If you have another editor, I'm sure you can do it in that editor as well. Um, you'll just have to figure out how to use that editor. I can't, can't tell you how to do everything. But um, well, I'm navigating right here to the textures, so I have them. So in Photoshop, where are we? Photoshop, here we go. Photoshop, and I'm going to drag it over here to this thing. So this is that arm base. So we have the, the arm base that's in that folder. It's already just part of that Eve arm base. There it is, Eve arm base. And then in that folder, if you might remember, there's also that mask. That's actually creating those tattoos. So we're going to drag that mask over on top of this. And we're going to say that that's good. And you might say, well, that doesn't do you a whole lot of good, Mike. That doesn't look good. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the mask and we're going to first uh, rasterize it, create an actual thing. And then we're going to go ahead and, and change the uh, way that it, that it masks down. When you have layers, I don't know if you're familiar in Photoshop, but the way they, they mask down is controlled somewhere here. Oh, yeah, up here. <laughs> so in different ways. So you can lighten, you can darken, you can do all kinds of different stuff. So what we want to do is do the difference. I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, subtract. There we go. Subtract. So you can see you can get different different effects by doing it this way. Anyway, subtract is what we want. That subtracts that mask from the basic skin. And then we go ahead, we save that out. Uh, we'll just export it as, uh, I've already done this, so uh, we'll export it as the arm base, which is fine, and exports. I've already done it. And then 
what you're going to do is you're going to drag over uh, or, or somehow open up that arm base into the base color here, and then that will create the tattoos on that character. Okay? With me so far? And then you do that with the neck and the arm, whatever the tattoos. And now we're going to export the whole thing. So we export it. I've shown you how to do this many, many, many times. I'm not going to bother doing that. We export it, FBX, and then in Character Creator, we're going to then bring that character over. And I've also shown you how to do this. Eventually, we're going to end up with this, so at least you see how that works. But what we'll do is go to Transformer, and because she's a, an F8 character, I'm sorry, Ge Ge ah, Genesis 8 character, we're going to bring her over like that. And um, advanced, always advanced. And the one other thing we're going to do, and I'm not going to do it now because it takes a long, long time to load all the textures. But in order to get those textures, in order to see all the, the textures as opposed to just the DAS general textures, is we have to bake the body texture. Okay? You have to check mark this. And then you can decide what, what resolution you want to bake it at. And then that's all you do. Say OK, and it'll come in, and then you'll end up with something like we've ended up with. So hopefully that helps. That's how to deal with geoshells that you can then copy the textures over, and we'll see you on the forums.